ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತುರ್ವಶ್ಚ ಕಿಂಧುಭವಚ ಅತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈತು ಸಿದ್ಧೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ವ ನರುಂಚ ಇವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ್ಣ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಅಭೀಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರುಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪನುತ ಬಾಲ್ಯಭವದ್ದಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವಾದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸ್ವ ಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕಥಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನು ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯರೂಪಂ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿತ್ತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪುಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜುಷ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಪ್ರಾಯೇನ ದೇವ ಮುನಯೋ ಸ ವಿಮುಕ್ತಿ ಕಾಮ ಮೌನಂ ಚರಂತಿ ವಿಜನೇನ ಪರಾರ್ಥನಿಷ್ಠಾ 
नैतान विहायुग पनान विमुक्ष एको नन्याम तदसरणम भ्रम तो नुपे प्राय न देव मुनयो स विमुक्ति काम मौनम चरती विजन न पार्थनिष्ठा नैतान विहायु किपनान विमुक्ष एको नान्याम तदसरणम भ्रम तो नुपे गौरी गोषीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंस जगदगुरु टोल्ड आई वॉज बाउंड टू गिव यू ऑल टेंशन आई वॉज बाउंड टू पुट यू इन ट्रावल बाय स्पीकिंग अबाउट दर एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग स्पीच एक्चुअली आई वॉन्टेड टू एंगेज यू ऑल इन एक्चुअल हरि भजन दैट्स वाई आई वॉज बाउंड टू स्पीक एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग टू एंगेज यू ऑल इन हरि भजन गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड आई वॉज बाउंड टू गिव यू ऑल टेंशन आई वॉज बाउंड टू स्पीक ऑल हैवी स्पीच इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू आई वॉन्टेड टू गिव यू ट्रैवल आई नो बट आई वॉन्टेड टू एंगेज यू ऑल इन एक्चुअल हरि भजन जेन्यून हरि भजन लिविंग ऑल डुप्लिसिटी लिविंग ऑल डुप्लिसिटी सो दैट यू कैन डू एक्चुअल हरि भजन सो आई वॉज बाउंड टू स्पीक दैट वे सम डे यू कैन somebody somebody th- somebody somebody thought that i am i am enemy somebody thought i am their enemy okay some day they can realize some life they can realize what i wanted to do for them they cannot realize in this bonded condition anyway i was bound to put them in trouble actual hari bhajan is really rare shuddha hari bhajan is really rare guru pad padma can be compared with water source in a pond there is water and there is one lotus feet a lotus flower there is one lotus flower water there under water water is there and in water some lotus flower there lotus flower there in water and what is down this way water is there and lotus flower is there and up you can find sun sun god up you can find sun god if that lotus flower not going to take shelter of water if that lotus flower not going to take if if that lotus flower not going to take shelter of water then sun god can burn that lotus flower then sun god can burn that lotus flower lotus flower cannot stay similarly gurudev can be compared with this water you are going to take shelter of that water and after taking shelter you are going to show your lotus flower and if you are not going to take shelter of guru pad padma i mean water that same lotus flowers sun god can burn the lotus flower cannot leave so this way we know without the support of guru pad padma we can never do hari bhajan not possible without the support of guru pad padma we cannot do hari bhajan that day i was speaking 
Niskinchanasya Bhagavad Bhajanon Mukhasya Parang Parang Jiga Misha Bhavasagarasya Sandar Sanam Vishanam Atho Yashitanancho Ha Hanto Ha Hanto Visha Bhakkanatya Apasya Opi Asadu Mahaprabhu is going to speak this. Mahaprabhu is speaking this. Niskinchanasya Actually, those who are doing Krishna Bhajan, maybe they are Grihastha or they are in renounce order. They are all Niskinchan. But you cannot believe. Yudhishthir Maharaj Niskinchan. But, you know, Yudhishthir Maharaj Niskinchan. Though doing, you know, fra, you know. All devotees, you see, they are all Niskinchan. Even Ambarish Maharaj, is also externally you can see king. Their Niskinchan Bhav is there. Niskinchan Bhav means they are only take shelter of Krishna. I mean their only property is Krishna. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking that those who are ready to do Krishna Bhajan, Niskinchan also, Bhagavad Bhajan Unmukasya, those who are Niskinchan. Niskinchan may their only property is Krishna, nothing else. Niskinchan also Bhagavad Bhajan Unmukasya, those who are ready to do Krishna Bhajan. Those who like to cross over this material ocean, very fearful material ocean. Those who want to cross over this material ocean, very dangerous. There is crocodile, shark, octopus, well. Ah. There is so many animal, an aquatic animal there. Krodhadi nakrama kari kabali kutasya durvasana nigari tasya nirasayasya chaitanya chanda mama dehi padavalam mana. This Bhavasagar, it is written in Prabhupada Sahaja writing, is full of whale, octopus, shark, big, big. Any time you can die. Any time you can die. No possibility. So, Krodhadi na krama karai kabali katasya iya sararipu kam krod lobma madam asyajya all like an animal. Any time kill you. So, Mahaprabhu writing, Mahaprabhu speaking, Niskin chanasya bhagavad bhajan unmukasya Parang, parang, jiga, misha, bhavasagar, sho. Those who like to cross over this material ocean, for them, for them, it is good if they are going to avoid, if they are going to avoid Yoshit Sangha and, you know, Raj Darshan, Raj the king. Those who are material people, they are Darshan and Yoshit darshan very dangerous for you. Parang parang jiga misa bhavasagu sandarshanam vishanamatho. If you see some material person, sandarshanam vishanamatho yoshitanancho. One material person and yoshit. Yoshit doesn't mean only woman, I already told. Yoshit means the object you are looking with some enjoying mood. That is called yoshit. Mahaprabhu speaking, it is far better to take poison. Mahaprabhu speaking, it is far better to take poison and die. Because this way, if you run, you can go down and down. Where you can go, you don't know. You can go down and your consciousness can down. Your consciousness can go down and down. That's why Mahaprabhu told, it is far better to take poison and die. It is better. In, in course of Krishna Bhajan, if we are doing some duplicity, it is not good. Vishay Darshan means, actually Mahaprabhu going to speak father of Raghunath Das Gosai. Raghunath Das Gosai is father and elder brother of his father. Hiranya Govardhan. Maap they are giving so much donation. They are giving so much donation for in Santipur, 
you know, here, Mayapur, everywhere. But Stavar, but, but Mahaprabhu never told that they are Vaishnava. Mahaprabhu never told that they are Vaishnava. Mahaprabhu told they are like Vaishnava. They are like Vaishnava. Hiranya Govardhan, they are giving, they are, you know, taking care of some Brahman and Vaishnava externally, anyway, they are giving. And they have also love for Guru a little bit. But they like to enjoy matter, material, money and position, everything. That's why Mahaprabhu told they are actually Vishwai. You can remember when the when when the king of Urisha, when the king of Jagannath Puri, you know, na? king Raja Pratap Ruddho. Raja Pratap Ruddho wanted to meet with Mahaprabhu. Very strong apple application. The, I like to meet Ma, I like to meet with Sriman Mahaprabhu, but Mahaprabhu not ready. Finally, Rai Ramananda going to request. Mahapu speaking, you see, I am sannyasi. I am sannyasi, I have no right to meet with, you know, one, uh, you know, king. It is not the rule. So how I can meet? Everybody going to request Mahaprabhu, so that Mahaprabhu give an opportunity, king can come and pay Dandubad, because king have strong love for Mahaprabhu. King has strong love for Mahaprabhu. Still, Mahaprabhu is not ready. Mahaprabhu is not ready. You see, I am a sannyasi. How I can meet with them? King. Finally told, okay, if you at all uh, want to arrange his meeting with me, you can call his son. It is the rules. If son, there is one, there is one, you know, sloka. Atma boi jayate putra. Mahapu speaking this sloka. Atma boi jayate putra. Meaning, Atma boi jayate putra, I mean, Atma coming in the form of, in a putra. So if son going to meet me, then I am ready. Okay. Then son coming to meet me. Mahapu going to embrace. And still Mahaprabhu was not ready to meet with king. But actually, if you have strong love for Bhagavan, Bhagavan is bound to meet you. Bhagavan cannot avoid. This is one kind of teachings to us. Mahaprabhu wanted to give one kind of teachings to us. That's why he was you know, playing this kind of Leela. Finally, what happened? Raja Pratabhruddha Pratab was you know, very sorry. Finally, those devotees, I mean, uh, our Sarvam Vartajajyo, all other devotees, they are going to promise that you can, Prabhu surely can give you darshan. This is one kind of Leela because he is acting as Acharya, na, Sanyasi. So someday he can give you darshan, you wait. Finally, what happens? At the time of Rathi Yatra, at the time of Rathi Yatra, Tithi, Radha, Raja Pratabruddho and Sarvam Bhattacharya Kasimi Sudha are important. They are waiting and watching Mahaprabhu's Leela. Mahaprabhu doing uh, Nityananda, Advaita Gosai, Mahaprabhu. They are all dancing near in front of Jagannath because that was a car festival, Jagannath festival, Jagannath Roth festival. That time, Mahaprabhu personally don't like to help personally less interested to help Pratabruddha. But according to the desire of Mahaprabhu, Jogmaya is going to arrange. Pratabruddha and uh, Sarvam Vartacharya, they are all watching from up, Mahaprabhu. They can see Mahaprabhu dancing in seven sampradaya, seven. Only they can see, Every, everybody cannot see. Only they watching two or three, including Radha Pratabhruddha, that Mahaprabhu dancing in seven sampradaya at a time. Seven sampradaya at a time Mahaprabhu dancing. Whereas each sampradaya, each and every sampradaya, 
they are watching Mahaprabhu is our own sampradaya. Follow. There are seven sampradaya. Each sampradaya watching that Mahaprabhu not going anywhere in our sampradaya dancing. Whereas they are watching in seven sampradaya, Mahaprabhu at a time dancing. This way Mahaprabhu gives darshan. This is one the excellent darshan. This darshan is rare. Even Brahma Sangar cannot do. Finally, what happens? Finally, what happens, you see? After, after Jagannath, Radha, Balaram going to final destination, I mean, uh, they are in uh, Gundisha. It was, uh, then Mahaprabhu and uh, all other, all devotees, they are, they are paying donors to Jagannath. Finally, whole road, whole way, Mahaprabhu dancing and singing. Finally, coming to take rest there in Palagandi. There is one garden, very nice garden. Then, then Mahaprabhu going to take rest, keeping wrath. All devotees, they are, uh, you know, taking rest under a tree. Every tree, all trees, Mahaprabhu also. In the meantime, Radha Patav, it was the plan. It was the plan of Sarvam Bhattacharya Jol, they are making Kasimi, so they are planning that Mahaprabhu somehow can complete, you know, chariot, you know, can take chariot up to that point. And finally, Mahaprabhu going to take rest. So you can change your, you can change your dress. You can change your dress and take a plain cloth, very ordinary, like Vega. And you can enter at Balagandi temple, Balagandi garden, Balagandi, and there Mahaprabhu, you can message the lake of Mahaprabhu, but you will have to sing the song from Ras Panchadhai. Jayati te dikam janma navajo, sevta indira shashadatra idis. This slope, Raja Pataburuddha was taught by, you know, these devotees. You can recite. The sloka and Mahaprabhu closing eyes is not going to see anything. You can message and go on singing uh, Ras Panchadhyay. You can see what is the reaction. Finally, when Mahaprabhu is going to sing this way, Jayati te dikam, Jayati te dikam, Janman Abrajo, Sevsa India, Sasadatri, this singing, then Mahaprabhu, as if, as if without information, going to embrace the king. Mahaprabhu knowing everything. But still, Mahaprabhu going to show, I don't know, what is the case. So Mahaprabhu going to embrace Raja Pratapruddha and speaking, who are you suddenly coming to give me Amrita? Who are you suddenly you are coming to give me Amrita? I have nothing to give to you. I have nothing to give to you, so finally I am going to give embrace. More kichu dite nahi dinu alingon. This way, Mahaprabhu is always interested, Bhagavan Sri Krishna, I mean Krishna Chaitanya, they are very much interested to give us darshan. Somebody asking to Prabhupada, how we can get darshan of Bhagavan? How we can get darshan of Bhagavan? Baba speaking, you can get darshan of Bhagavan, but you are not doing Guru Seva. If there is no Guru Darshan, if there is no Guru Darshan, then how you can see Bhagavad Darshan? There is no Guru Darshan, you are not, still today you are not, Guru men, you are going to see the material body of Guru Dev. But Guru Bani Sarup, Seva Sarup, you have no information. Guru Darshan means complete Darshan. After Guru Darshan, you can expect Bhagavad Darshan. If there is no Guru Darshan in your life, how you can expect Bhagavad Darshan? Like the case of, I was speaking in, in a Bengali Katha, just uh, in the noon time, that Dhruva Maharaj, you can say, Dhruva Maharaj, you can say, Dhruva Maharaj also, you can say Dhruva Maharaj also have Anna Vilas, na? Dhruva Maharaj have also Anna Vilas. Dhruva Maharaj wanted to go to forest, 
with some desire to call Bhagavan because he need one position. Stano bi lasing, eh? Stano bi lasi, tapadis tito. Stano bi lasi, tapadis tito. Aham, tapadis tito. Aham. Tam praptabam deva munindu gujham, kacham bichinna nopi dibbaratnam. Swamin kitatos me baram na jati. Finally, Bhagavan was bound to come. Now question that how is it possible that Annavilas, with this kind of Annavilas, 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 if there is Annavilas, how we can meet with Bhagavan Sri Krishna? This kind of question can come. So why and how, why and how it was possible for Dhuva Maharaj to get Bhagavad Darshan? So Bhagavan have some, has some partiality? Partiality? No. Point is there, first point, Dhuva Maharaj was only five years boy. Try to understand. Dhuva Maharaj, Maharaj was only five years boy. He has no idea, he has no, he don't understand about this, about Singhasan. I mean the, don't think that Dhuva Maharaj wanted to sit in the throne of father. A small boy, he wanted to climb the lap of father. This much. His heart was not too much contaminated. His heart was not contaminated with matter. Only his Khatriya. Khatriya means have some power. Khatriya always has strong power. If he is going to speak, he, he, he likes to get it. So with this determination, he wanted to go to forest. He wanted to go to forest with this determination. I like to meet with because I... I am, not, I am not able to climb the lap of my father this much. His heart was not contaminated with matter. He was not copper. He started, uh, I have speaking now, uh, in Rai Ramananda Sangbad it is written, Mahaprabhu and, you know, and Rai Mahas are speaking, Krishna speaking, he is foolish, he is want to get some property. Why I can give property? Better I can give my charanamrita. They are speaking. And whereas Yudhishthir Maharaj, in front of Yudhishthir Maharaj, whereas in front of Yudhishthir Maharaj, Naraji Maharaj speaking, the Bhagavan likes to give everything, even mukti. Ye yathamang prapadnanti tang satimba bhajam I am ready to give everything. Whatever you are doing some bhajan, I like to pay you. But Naraji Maharaj speaking, Bhagavan is not at all ready to give bhakti. Dadati muktim smana bhakti yogam. Bhagavan is going to give him mukti, but not bhakti yoga. So how you can understand? There we know Bhagavan it is really it is rare to get bhakti. And whereas in Rai Ramananda Sangmad we find this. What is the harmony? What is the solution? I already told you, forget that if copper people, they are doing Krishna bhajan, they want to get something from Krishna in the name of bhajan, they are material. They are doing Krishna bhajan, but they like to get something from Krishna. Then Krishna is going to give them matter. Like businessman, na? like businessman doing business to get return money. So, Krishna liked to pay them. But those who are plain hearted, very simple hearted, no complicacy. Like Dhuva Maharaj, a small boy, Sanobi Lasi Tapadishtita Aham. I wanted to get position. And for this reason, I wanted to start your bhajan. Sanobi Lasi Tapadishtita Aham, Tam Praptoban. I get you. Deva Muninda Gujyam. Guiham, Mane, Dev, Munindro, big, big Rishi, Muni, they cannot see you. But I get you. I was just, I was just searching like a foolish. I was just, I was just searching some broken pieces of glass. I was just searching some broken pieces of glass and finally I find one Dibbaratna jewel. It's my luck. Which is impossible. So, 
Pope was speaking, Bhagavan is very much interested. Bhagavan is very much interested to help those devotees, those who are plain-hearted, no complicacy. Only foolishness. Oh, I want to get this. Actually, they are not contaminated. They are not, you know, duplicity there. For them, Bhagavan Sri Krishna can help. So, Dhuva Maharaj wanted to go to forest because mother told, mother told actually, if you do bhajan or paddhapala slochan, all problems solved. So, paddhapala slochan, why is saying? Why is saying? Mother saying in, actually in solitary place. So, he gone to forest without asking mother, very early in the morning gone to the forest. But by the mercy of Naraji Maharaj, he was successful to do bhajan. By the mercy of Naraji Maharaj, he was successful to do bhajan. Successful mean in the sense, the small boy getting mantra from Naraji Maharaj, he is doing bhajan as per the direction of Gurudev. But the main thing, but the main point for why Bhagavan was bound to come, the main point, for why Bhagavan was bound to come, first point, you know, that point is that tremendous anxiety. Tremendous anxiety into heart to get Bhagavan. You know, Khanti Rabhyatta Kalatnam Virakti Ramana Sunnata Asavandu Samatkanta Nama Gani Sadaruchi. Tomorrow I can discuss. Samutkanta, great anxiety. When I can meet Bhagavan? When Bhagavan can come? I may be coming. No, 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 not coming. Great anxiety, small boy. First point, five year boy. His heart is not contaminated. Out of humbleness, out of humbleness, Dubomara speaking. I want to get position, but uh, no, it is, I am lucky, I am getting. But actually, position me, he never wanted to, he never, Dhuva Maharaj never wanted to get control over the, over the kingdom. He wanted to sleep on the, in the lap of father. This time, out of humbleness, he is speaking this way. Out of humbleness, a five years boy, what he can understand about the utility of kingdom? One small boy, playing boy, small boy. So, his heart was not contaminated. So, Bhagavan was bound to come. First point, his heart was not contaminated. He was expecting something to sit on the lap. First point. And most vital point is that there was anxiety inside the heart of Dhuva Maharaj. Every day, every fraction of second he is, you know, thinking, Bhagavan can come, Bhagavan can come, Bhagavan. This kind of, this kind of anxiety, if there, if there inside your life, we can also get darshan. But this kind of anxiety is not there. I can discuss someday about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's anxiety. About the great anxiety of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Crying inside Gambira Mandir, coming outside garden like crazy, full moon in the sky, and the smell of jasmine. Jasmine, you know, flower? Very nice jasmine. And the sky. Then Mahaprabhu thinking, deep feeling about Vrindavan. And like to with with Radharani Baba, like to meet with Krishna, like to meet with tremendous anxiety inside heart, tremendous anxiety. All is feeling Krishna coming, Krishna coming. Oh no, Krishna not coming. You're going to cheat me. This way. This way, anxiety can help us to do bhajan. And actually, Vrindavan Parikram, Vrindavan Parikram, if you can do under the guidance of Brajavasi, like Mahaprabhu done, if you can do Vrindavan Parikram under the guidance of Brajavasi, especially under the guidance of Gopikas, then Krishna is bound to come. Because when Krishna is missing, when Krishna is missing from Rasa Leela, because Radharani is watching, Radharani, when Rasalila going on, just started, Radharani watching, this is common seva. My Krishna, my Krishna now dancing with everybody. 
like common. Krishna is especially my Krishna, na? Then Radharani watching the same behavior, nothing speciality with me. It is called special love affair, angry attitude. It is no material language. This kind of jealousy, angry attitude in the transcendental world, transcendental platform, especially in Vrindavan, very high class. It is one kind of rasa. Not same with material angry attitude. So Radharani, when watching the Krishna giving Krishna, Krishna going to give same treatment. Krishna going to same treatment to everybody. Not nothing special with me. Radharani disappeared from that class. When Radharani disappeared, then the Rasa Lila was scattered, broken. Radharani when gone, then whole Rasa Lila scattered, broken. Because Radharani is the binding force. Radharani, Radharani is the centrifugal force. Radharani is the binding force. Radharani is the centrifugal force. Without which Rasa Lila cannot stand. Because Krishna don't want, na? Krishna wants Radharani. When Radharani gone, Krishna also leave. Krishna started searching Radharani. Anyway, after that, I already discussed about, you know, Gopi Gita. Gopi Gita, just I told. In Gopi Gita, you can find all, all Gopikas, they are running like mad, crazy. Whole night, Vrindavan. Where Krishna gone? Whole night they are searching Krishna, where Krishna gone. They are crying and in the form of Gopi Gita you can find. Jayati te dikam janmana braja sayat indira shashadatrahi daita dikshutam dikshutavaka taidhita sabo tvang vichinvate or very many, many nice nice sloka there. Tava kathamritam tapta jivanam kavirvitam kalma sapaham savanamangalam simadatatam bhubiginantite bhuridhajana. Very nice. Whole line. So, this Vindavan Parikrama, specially, specially if we can do under the guidance of Gopikas. Very good. I mean, under the guidance of Prajubhasis. Now, yesterday I was speaking that in in Vrindavan, first of all, we take darshan because we are going. Either you will have to either you will have to take either you will have to take Vrindavan darshan. You can do first, or after whole parikrama over, you will have to come to Vrindavan and take darshan. Anyway, we are going to because our Goswami's, our Goswami date is there, eh, discovered by our Goswami's, all discovered by our Goswami's. So first we do Vrindavan, all different places, Darshan. One thing is very important, you should realize, some, some Parikrama party, they are going to make Parikrama, Chai They are going to make Parikrama, but after Parikrama, they are going to come back to temple. Some party they are doing at present. Previously they are not doing. Now they are going to parikram. They are going darshan. No, after that come back. It is not actually parikram. It is. It is called darshan. It, it can. You can say darshan. Darshan is not pocket because they are going to avail car. They are not. It is the rules that you will have to travel. You cannot avail any car. Govardhan Parikrama about Govardhan Parikrama issue. When I can go to reach Radha Kund, then specially we can do Govardhan Parikram, one special Parikrama, only for Govardhan. After that, we can start and go to Bahaj, different places. Special. And actually, what I say, if you go and come back, it is not actually Parikram. It is not Parikram. Parikram means you will have to do whole part. Wherever, whichever plane. Suppose you are going here, you will have to stay here. You go there, after that you have to do. Parikrama, if you go and come back to a temple, it is not actually Parikrama. 
It is called Brajo Darshan, you can say this much. Anyway, yesterday I was speaking that Mathura is the main city, very, very sophisticated city, because the old city. Eh, very. There at the time of Kangsa, there was so much so much appliances. Everywhere, diamond, you know, all golden plate, everywhere, all decorated, everywhere. So much appliances. So, the kingdom of Kangsa was there. But at present, it is city. So you cannot discover which is the kingdom. It, it, whole, it is kingdom actually. Now, near Keshavji Goryamad, you can find one place very high. There, it, there they show, actually it is the throne, I mean the Singhasan, where Kangsa used to sit. So if Kangsa used to sit there, all around there was assembly. Assembly was Dharma, you know, not Dharma, actually it was assembly. It was assembly, no? big assembly. So you will have to imagine, because otherwise no document. Only we can show you the place where Kangsa used to sit. And surely there is a big assembly, assembly room. And there actually, Kamsa wanted to arrange Dhanur Jagya. Dhanur Jagya means one bow given by Sankar. It's so heavy. Who can break? Who can break this bow? Who can break? That is a challenge. Big, big, powerful men coming, they are failure, they cannot break. Finally, Krishna. Enter the room, but the guardman going to check him. Brother is going to enter, and like a you know, small boy, taking the bow and break in between. Then Kongso from then onward is very much anxious. Kongso is anxious all the time because when Jogu, when Mahamaya, you can remember, na? When when Mahamaya in the form of a small girl, because Krishna was transferred. Krishna was transferred to Gokul and one small girl, baby, was there in the bed of Jasudama, was brought. You can remember I told you. And that boy, that girl, Kongsu wanted to kill. Kongsu cannot believe. But who, who can say, who can kill me? Says he wanted to kill the small girl. The small girl going out of hand and going in the sky and showing, showing eight hands, Devi, Bhavani. Devi, and going to speak, laughing. You are going to kill me. What you, what benefit you can get? Who can kill you? He already taken birth. Who is going to kill you today or tomorrow? He already taken birth. From then onward, Kamsa always watching Krishna everywhere. When he is going to take bath in water, inside water, inside water he is watching Krishna. When he is going to drinking water, he is watching Krishna coming to kill me. Everywhere. This way, he wanted to make a plan to kill Krishna and Balaram because there is a... Finally, what happens, I already told, they make, make orange, make one festival. Festival means there are different kind of art and culture, like the wrestling. Krishna, I mean... Kongso invite Krishna Balaram from, from Nanda Gokul. You can come, you can fight, we can see some musical instruments, some songs, some fighting, different kind of, you know, acting. There, Krishna and Balaram, both of them were invited. And Kongso planning, Kongso planning to kill them. It was not one kind of drama. Kongso, Kongso wanted to kill them. In the name of a festival, in the name of festival, Kongso wanted to kill them. I mean, Krishna Balaram. So he arranged Chanur Mustik, the very powerful, thousands of element, elephant power. And so they are there. So Kongso arranged fighting of Krishna with Chanur. And Balaram 
going to fight with Mushti. Both of them fighting going on. And Kongso watching from, and when Kongso, when Krishna Balaram entered, when Krishna Balaram already entered into this assembly, two elephant teeth, one is in the hand of Balaram and Krishna. Then Kongso, Kongso could realize that the, my topmost elephant, I mean Kubala appeared, already killed. He was very much nervous. He was expecting that Krishna Balaram can do nothing. Kangsha was expecting Krishna Balaram can do nothing in front of that elephant, a very powerful elephant. So can kill, but finally Kubala appeared, uh, elephant was killed. Krishna Balaram taking entry into the assembly by watching Krishna Balaram with one one teeth, two teeth, na? one one teeth. Na. Then Kongsu was nervous. Finally, anyway, I like to jump. Then fighting took place. All Brajavasis and other Mathura Vasis, those, those who came, because from Vrindavan also so many friends and you know they came to watch this festival. But finally, everybody going to regret. How possible? This small soft boy and that where is that you know big powerful Chanur Mustik? It is injustice. It is just in just a small soft boy, Krishna Balaram, a small boy of eleven years, I know, small boy, and they are very powerful. How this kind of, this not this is not matching fighting. This fighting is not matching. King must king is do, doing injustice. In the meantime, fighting took place. Chanur and Mustik, I am going to jump. Chanur and Mustik was killed. They both of them were killed. Kongsu could realize it is my turn. I am going to die now. Then Krishna jumping and going to the up. There's a big platform, up platform, and going to catch the hair of Kamsa and go jump and fall down on the ground. I mean this I mean the area where when on stage. And after that. Krishna going to provide feast. Finally, Kongs was killed. Okay, no problem, Kongs was killed. After that, there was big problem because father-in-law of Kamsa was Jarasandha. Father-in-law of Kamsa is Jarasandha, who is not an ordinary man. Very powerful, very, very. Nobody can kill him, Jarasandha so. Finally, anyway, I am not going to discuss all about it. Because two daughters, because two daughters of Jarasandha eh, were given in marriage with you know, Kamsa. Two daughters. I mean the wife of Kamsa, two wives, Osti Prapti. Two wives of Kamsa, they are the daughter of Jarasandha. Anyway, everything finished. Now, in Mathura, so many places, Rangeshwar, Pipaleshwar, Rangeshwar, so many, Mahadev. Also, Gokarnaji Maharaj, you heard the name of Gokarnaji Maharaj? You heard? That Gokarnaji Maharaj, he used to worship one Sivji Maharaj, he installed. It is near the radio station. It is, at present, it is just backside the radio station of Mathura, Mathura radio station. There is one Mahadev. There, our Gokarnuji Maharaj used to say, very, can, eh? they are very important. And there, actually, so many things you can get. Uh, Rishi, Mani Rishi, Saptarshi, they used to do. They used to worship Sun God. There is also. And so many places. After that, I told you already, the birthplace of Krishna, Actually, they cannot locate. They cannot locate the appropriate place. Anyway, they are going to make one a st a statue, make a temple. Anyway, people going there with Baba that to meet. Anyway, so there is one. If you go enter there, you, you have to go long, long enter. You can find one kind of jail where Vasudev, Daivaki, and Krishna there deity. I don't know they are worshipping or not. I think it is like idol. They are not worshipping, I think so. 
Many times I went there, now at present I am not going, I am less interested. So that is the birthplace of uh, Krishna, they locate. Actually I told the birthplace of Krishna is near, near, actually, and that, you know, huh? Nana, that Krishna, I told you. Small Krishna, I told you. Know, I told that day, I told already. Uh, they are actually near that, near that temple, that is the birthplace. And there, after that, you can get one, you know, big kunda. Big kunda. That kunda is putra kunda. I mean, after giving birth. It is, it is a routine because if, if our devotee man not going to feel this way, then he cannot think he is my boy. First of all, Krishna appear as poor hand in the in the jail. Then after that, Devoki and Vasudev ma going to pray some stotra. After that, Jasodama, after that, our Devokima speaking, if you are going to appear in this way, who can say, you are my boy? Who can say, you are my boy? After that, Krishna wanted to take and take a you know, form of small boy in the lap of mother. Krishna already speaking, I wanted to give I wanted to give you darshan. I wanted to give you darshan this way, forehand, because I wanted to remind you that in previous, previous birth, you wanted to, eh, you wanted to get me as your son. Ah, you wanted to get me, both of you wanted to get me as your son. So I want to remind you, I am coming this form. After that, Krishna taking the form of small boy and our Vasudevji, Doivoki cannot remember the past. Understand? Krishna appeared just before, Krishna appeared in the form of forehand that they, they cannot remember. If they remember, this is not good. If they can remember, Krishna was originally forehand, how they can uh, accept this boy as my boy. For it is written, it is called Putarakun. They are speaking Brajabhasi. They are written Putarakun. After taking birth, uh, after you know, after giving birth, it is written not like human being. There is a one kind of philosophy. Then our uh, Devaki Ma wanted to take bath there because after taking you know giving birth, wanted to take bath. These are the rules as per Indian culture, Vedic culture. One mother, when going to give birth, she will have to stay very separately. After some time, they, they can cut the navel portion, clean everything, go to Ganga to take bath, or in, if Ganga is not there, in there are all so many rules. So according to that rules, they are also going to follow. So going to take bath, it's called Putarakund. I was speaking about uh, about that, you know, Darukadish temple, big temple. Actually, it was not there at the time of you know Krishna. It was it was the, the construction of the temple was done after. But the big temple, Darukadish, where the appliances, all people coming to take darshan. Maybe they are going to, uh, you know, make this temple, some, some big sadhu is going to make big, rich temple. Thousands of people coming to take darshan, very rich people, very uh, rich temple there. And near that, you know, near that temple, you can take darshan of Madan Mohan. Some Brajavasi said, very small, Madan Mohan is this much. But very famous, one Madan Mohan Mohan, very old temple. Many people, they are going to take darshan Madan Mohan. Actually, that is not our Madan Mohan, which I already told in Vindavan. It is separate Madan Mohan. Many people coming to them. After that, I told about 
white baraha and adikesha you cannot remember adikesha adikesha no mahaprabhu used to dance you know mahaprabhu when went to mathura adikesha and and adikesha mahaprabhu going to meet with that sonoriya vipro because when sonoriya vipro developing this kind of prema mahaprabhu said this kind of prema not available anywhere you have any link with madhava yes madhava came and you know give me diksha he took prasad that adikesha near near adikesha very near here adikesha just there is a birth place of krishna but nobody knows they are going to indicate that one anyway let us forget what to do so i told you at the bank of jamuna mahaprabhu 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 took birth mahaprabhu took birth in 20 24 different ghat there is 24 different ghat mahaprabhu took but we have no capacity what we can do one or two important ghat i can say one ghat is bisram ghat is main ghat one or two i can speak because we have to make a list big big, big list there is ghat and all 24 ghats mahaprabhu took birth every ghat mahaprabhu go but we are not unable to do it but there is main ghat after killing kamsa after killing kamsa krishna came to take rest at the bank of jamuna that god name is bisram god bolo in mathura krishna after there so many god there and so many god so many god there list and finally you can go to take darshan of shet bara white bara i already told yesterday shet bara ho actually appear long ago shod baraha kalpa shet baraha dev appear because the whole earth was under water whole earth was under water so finally what happens shet baraha appear going to take this earth taking up by teeth by teeth taking the earth and going out of water and going to going to set going to set this earth in the space and give power so that it can ro rotate in a, in a, in the space after that shet baraha disappear and black baraha appear after black baraha appear to kill hiranya hiranya akya black baraha actually but in bhagavatam it is written all together because separately no time is there so many important thing our vishnu chakravarty was a bola of big big commentator they are writing that sukdev goswami didn't think it necessary to discuss separately because bhagavat is so many important things there so at a time he is going to discover and baraha baraha avatar and actually shet baraha and after that black baraha you can find black baraha you can go through bhagavatam third canto third canto you can find there is black baraha coming out and to fight with hiranyaksha and kill and finally uh, hiranyakashu will become very angry because is vishnu tatva vishnu anyway going to kill my brother so vishnu is my enemy vishnu is my enemy anyway i have to take revenge with this motive he wanted to start and tapasya this is so many thing as doing so many thing anyway that is a place very but it is very you have to go zigzag so nice this you know you have to go up and down up and down the mathura you know up and down so many they will have to go very after that you can go to one another important temple is called dirga vishnu dirga vishnu mean bhagwan is just a, a small boy of 11 years revian something na because up to 11 years 10 months krishna was there in vrindavan after that krishna gone to mathura to so a small boy so when wanted to kill kill, kill kansa 
Then Kongso watching Krishna taking a big form. Kongso watching that Krishna taking a long, tall form. Because Kongso was sitting in a high platform. High platform, special platform. After that, there is one throne in which is Singhasan. So, Krishna wanted to enlarge his body. Enlarge. According to time and circumstances. Because like oh, to Arjun, Bhagavan is going to show Vishwarup, all infinity. Bhagavan can do anything. Arjun watching the Vishwarup, all infinity world, Krishna. Vishwarup in Gita. You can go through Gita, there is Vishwarup. Similarly, he is going to take tall form and going to catch and jumping and going to catch the hair of Kansa and going to pull down. So, since that you know, Krishna took tall form and the form of the, you know, the one, you know, one deity you can find, that is called Dirga Vishnu. That is called Dirga Vishnu. The Dirga man is long. That in one temple, you will have to, you know, take one guide because you cannot go. So many here and there, you have to go and then you have to go to very, very nice deity, long, tall, you know. This way, all Rangesha people are in different four places of Mathura. You can take darshan. After that, if you like to visit the temple of Keshav Goswami Maharaj, Keshav Gauriya Maharaj, that you can do. There is so many things. Like Dasha Mahavidya. Dasha Mahavidya means Devi, Devi, time to time take ten different forms. You never heard. I think you never heard. If you go to Katayani temple in Vrindavan, you can see different picture. Different picture. There you can find Chinnamasta, Dhumavati, different name, Devi, different form. In Kamakha also. Kamakha, there is an you know, ten different murti of Devi. Different time to time, she took different form. So this Dasha Mahavidya. Dasha Mahavidya you can find there. Dasha Mahavidya. I mean ten different forms of Devi. You can take darshan there. That is also very important for, and there is one museum, museum, uh, those who are, you know, uh, ancient thing they are keeping, na? in museum, ancient thing, ancient thing. There is one government, government museum, there you can go if you like to, uh, if you are less interested, you can go. So, so many important things there, I never went. From there you can first come to, now your Parikrama can start. You can come to Bhuteshwar Mahadev. Bhuteshwar Mahadev you will have to pay Dandavat and do Parikrama, give water to Nandiya and Ma Bhavani, Bhavani, Patal Bhairavi, Patal, Patal Mane, Patal Mane underground. You have to go very down, there you can see black Ma sitting very. So there you have to take darshan and take permission of Bhuteshwar Mahadev. Because without taking permission from Bhuteshwar Mahadev, you should not do. There is so many rules. Before starting Parikram, you will have to do, you have to take some, you have to take some bow. Sometimes somebody starting Parikram from Manasi Ganga. They are doing Achaman in Manasi Ganga. Somebody starting Parikram from Radha Kund, doing Achaman in Radha Kund. Somebody going Parikrama from Jeep, Jamuna. Actually, it is the rules that they should, they should start Parikram. It is the rules in Parikram. This is the basic rules that you will have to go to. First, you will have to go to Bhuteshwar. Bhuteshwar Mahadev he is the original you know, controller of Bhuteshwar. All Bhuteshwar. To take permission, if you take permission from heart, you can never meet with in trouble. I am the I am the witness. Always I go and take permission from Bhuteshwar Baba and give garland, give water, everything, and there is no problem, nothing, nothing, no, not even one 
you know, one ant cutting. No, no problem in life. Whole life I am doing parikram, no problem. Not dysentery, nothing, nothing all. Drinking water here and there. Where I can get water? Who can give you water? Some Bhojavas say, Baba, this water is okay. Okay, drink. You have to drink. You cannot carry water pot with you. How much water you can carry with you? Who can give you water? No, nothing available. When I went to Himalaya, eh, almost uh, nothing there. Eh, nothing there, but they were doing parikram. Himalaya. Oh, so many things. Anyway, this is Himalaya, different places. So, after taking permission, there is a very big history. By the permission of Guru Maharaj, I went. Very fantastic experience. At present, not possible. Because all, long ago, na, that time, that time, situation was not uh, so dirty. Even in Himalaya, even in Himalaya, they like to enjoy. You try to understand. You are going to Himalaya to realize your, your, yourself. People are so idiot. They want to get a nice room, AC room, ah, hot weather I am watching. They think enjoying. So Shankar Bhagavan, 12 years ago, make one devastated condition. All destroy. Shankar Bhagavan coming out and destroy whole, yeah? Whole temple, hotel, everything, all. No trace. No trace as if you are writing one letter and giving water and washing. All gone. Thousands of people dead. They think Himalaya is also one place of enjoyment. How they can do bhajan? This is a question of realization. Why you are going there to realize? You know? Brajamandal also, you can go, I can show you. Rich, rich people, billions of dollars. They can do buy flat, flat at the bank of Giriraj Maharaj. They are sitting in a chair and taking coffee. This is not the place. This is not your enjoyment, <laughs> enjoyment, but they are doing. You go, thousands of people, they are all covered, material people. Previously, there was situation was good. Externally, you cannot find. Externally, you cannot find. All, you know, just opposite. Anyway, so from Bhuteshwar, you will have to take permission. After that, from there, you will have to start for Parikra. If you like to stay there night time then you will have to arrange one temple i know so many temple they family they know me there is one small nishinga temple krishna balram temple known to me i used to stay there so i know very early in the morning i go and take darshan of bhuteshwar arati and i start it is good if you can start very early in the morning because if there is sun god very then you cannot so it is the rules. If you can start early in the morning, then it's very good. If you sleep up to seven o'clock, parikram is not possible. For you. you have to take travel. All day, no security of prasadam, water, nothing. This way we'll have to start. From tomorrow we can go, tomorrow we can from Bhuteshwar, we can go to Madhuban, where I can also speak about Dhruva Maharaj something. Dhruva Maharaj, how rich they are to do Hari Bhajan and uh, to do astuity and finances this way. So, today I like to stop here. So, Parikram is very good. If you can do Parikram from heart, it's very good, very good. If you can do, then you can cut all your bondage. But this kind of Parikrama is really. And the sloka I started with, I can show those pure Guru Vaishnava, they are trying their best to help bonded soul. Like Prahlad Mahas told us, usually we find those sadhu, they are going to uh, take care of themselves. Oh, who are you? But those sadhu, pure sadhu, sometimes they are going to take care of others. Prayena deva munayo sabhimukti kama maunam charanti vijane na paratha nishta naitana vihayo kipanana vimumuksha yeko Nanyam tadasya saranam brahmato nupase panchakalpaturvasika basindivaj patitanam pavanam pavishnu. Now we will have to run very fast because from time is approaching. Nah?